welcome back to another vlog. Today's um, Thursday, but it is my Friday. So, because I say that because Jackson's out of school tomorrow. So he's gonna have three day weekend. And all day I've been thinking it's Friday. All week I've been thinking this is Friday and it's only Thursday. But anyway, welcome back to the vlog. Um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than just the regular daily vlog. I'm gonna try and do some decorating in my kitchen and change some things up. I've been wanting to for a while. And for Mother's Day, I got Marion and the kids got me a KitchenAid stand mixer, which is a dream come true for me. And it's in the teal blue color I love. So I am excited to just like, I've been wanting to rearrange, you know, just like do my shelves different and all that. It's been a while and I don't really like the way they look now. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm also gonna be making dinner and doing like, I'm making breakfast burritos and I'm gonna like make a lot and freeze some hopefully. And I thought I'd share that. Everybody knows how to make breakfast burritos, but <laughs> um, I found a recipe on Pinterest, I think, that I wanna try. And also uh, just cleaning, you know, everyday things, but nothing, nothing really exciting. But the main thing I wanna get done today is to do some decorating in my kitchen. And then also these shelves. Um, I've had these shelves here for several years and I will be doing a dining room makeover and those will be different but for now I think I want to just like mix up the decor switch some of it around I just need a change you know I keep things the way they are for a long time but then I just need to switch them around and I need to I don't know do some changing up in here I put my spring decor up like two months ago it seems like two months maybe in mid-March and I'm not quite ready for summer yet, but I do want to, but I will be very soon. I mean, it's mid-May, so usually before Memorial Day is when I start putting some summer decor up. And I will be doing that soon. But I think I just want to take down some of my my pinks and my, my spring stuff and just put up like everyday decor, you know, in between the seasons, the holidays. I'm going to be focusing on my kitchen. I need to clean it right now. I really badly need to clean it. And then I'm going to just do some of the decor, change the decor up. And then after dinner, obviously I'm going to have to clean it again. So it'll be a day in the life, but not your typical day in the life, but mainly just focus on the kitchen decor. So so this is some of the decor that I had downstairs that I just brought up because I keep them in bins and I switch them up every now and then. And I just wanted to change some things up. This is actually a beautiful Mother's Day gift my girls got me. It's a, um, you know, like tiered tray. It's so beautiful. I love it. And this is a bowl we got for, whoops, sorry. This is a bowl we got for Elena's wedding. So I brought that up. I got a sink full of dishes over there. I need to um, do all this. But here's my beautiful KitchenAid mixer. I showed it on um, Instagram when I got it. It's so heavy. I had never knew how heavy these things were, but all the pieces are on the dishwasher. They're clean, so I'm gonna move this and just redo some of this stuff. And then all my shelves, I've got um, the decor, just the way that it's been. And I wanna change it up a little. I'm kind of, whoa, why is that crooked? I just want to change some things up. Those shelves and that black sign just kind of looks too dark to me. I want my kitchen to be bright and white, and for me, that's a little too dark. So I, I'm not sure. I might do some whitewashing on that. I don't know. And I might move that sign too, so we'll see. And then over here, I have the same shelves. So I think I'm going to lighten them up a little bit. I'm definitely going to keep the wood frame around the window that way, but... I think I want to lighten it up. And then my dining room shelves, they've kind of been the same way. Well, with the same decor, just kind of switched around for a couple years and I'm ready for a change. In here too, and also this was by my front door, but it fell and broke right here. So I need to see if I can fix that. I'm not sure, but this would be really pretty in my dining room, I think. But whatever I do now will probably be changed whenever I do my dining room makeover. I did push my table up against the wall I was just needing more space, you know, wanting more space. It is like it is like one o'clock now. Yeah, not 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 quite one. It's like twelve forty, and so I want to get a lot of this done before I go get Jackson. That'd be really great. And then, like I said, he is off today, so it's it's our Friday, and I'm excited. I kind of feel like I want to just like get takeout and not do anything like a regular Friday, but <laughs> I really want to get this done too. So, so I think I'm just gonna stack everything on the table so that I can see what all I have and then I'll figure out where it's gonna go I'm gonna move all this and then I'm gonna clean the kitchen before I you know try to put everything up
I think I might leave these things the way they are up here. I kind of like the way that is. And then also I'm going to leave this um, beautiful greenery on the side. I love that there, but everything else I took down that little sign. I might put it back up. I'm not sure. I put it up as soon as we did the kitchen, so I've never seen it without it. And also, I don't know, I might do something with this. I put cookies in here and then I end up throwing them out like six months later because nobody eats them. And my fruit bowl, I'm not sure. And then over here is Marion's Keurig and you know, this is just like where we put bread and things like that, dog treats. So all that's going to stay here. And then I love my Pioneer Woman um, cupcake, cake platter, whatever that is. I like that right there. So I think I'm going to keep that there. And then I'm going to probably take these two down. I'm going to leave these, whoops, sorry. I'm going to leave these signs up as far as I know. <laughs> but I did also take the things off the refrigerator and I'm going to keep that up. But this is what all I have. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of decor plus all of that. So it's going to take me a little while to figure out where I want everything to go. I also have this shelf, but when I redo my dining room, this is going to be different. So I don't know. I don't know what's going there. It's a lot. <laughs> I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide by wiping all these shelves down and then putting up the decor. It takes forever to try and figure out where things are gonna go, but um, I've been working on it for a little while off camera. For now, I'm just gonna like wipe everything down and then try and put everything back up. Okay, I like this better than it was. I think it brightened it up. I brought some color in and more white rather than that black. I took the picture down. That's going to go in my dining room for now. And bringing in like the whites, I think it looks a lot better. I almost whitewashed these, but Madison came in. She said, don't do that. So, so I'm not going to whitewash them. <laughs> I just needed to brighten this, this side up. I don't know. For some reason, it just seemed dark, but I like it a lot better now. Now let's do some more. <laughs> I 
KitchenAid mixer that I am in love with and um, I just put all the attachments in this bowl for now I'm not really sure where I'm gonna store them just yet but I'm gonna leave them there for now Ooh, I've been so selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again Yeah, just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to know that I'm lost without you I'm not without you I hope I can't show up here above my stove, I know I said I wasn't going to really mess with it, but I did just kind of mix things around. I just put this basket up here and put my cookbooks in it with the plant, and then I still have my cake platter. And then that's my um, rooster thing. I think I'm going to tack it up there. I'm not really sure. I just set it up there to see if I like it. But when, I don't know. I think I like it. <laughs> I haven't committed yet, but I think that looks better than it was. So pretty much everything is finished now. I went ahead and kept that up there for now. I'll be putting up July 4th th stuff, decor, summer decor before too long, but I love the everyday decor and you know I love my blues and my teals, so it just makes me happy to have those pops of blue. <laughs> me, I don't know what to do if you go. I took up this floral rug that I had um, by my sink. I do love it, but you can see that it gets like dingy and I, I can throw this in the wash. So that's fine. But I actually thought about getting the bigger a version of that to go like under my dining room table when I redo my dining room because I really love the colors in it but if it gets that dirty look I don't know I don't know if I'd have to get like a carpet cleaner to have it so haven't decided but for now I'm gonna put that away actually I'm gonna wash that and then put my just everyday rug down I really like that one and change out my towels too So the kitchen's clean, clean, it looks good. I like the way everything turned out. I think it looks um, just, I don't know, fresher, brighter. But in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna be making dinner, so I'm probably gonna make a mess in here and I'll have to clean it up again, but that's okay. I wanted to just show you all of it again. I think it's pretty. And whenever I'm doing a room, like the other rest of the house sort of 
suffers the living room's not bad but the dining room i'm going to put this picture above these and i did go ahead and decorate over here just a little different i took some things out of the kitchen like i said this is going to be different whenever you know we redo our dining room but for now i'm just going to put that up there i'm going to put this blue uh, mirror in my basement because that may go in my dining room when we redo it this is also just a box of decor that i'm going to store downstairs i do like to keep it and go through it like like today and just pull out new things eventually i'll probably weed through it and give a lot of it away i also took these out um well these were all the spring flowers i had around the house and i just put these eucalyptus over here instead of the yellow flowers so for now i'm going to go put all this in the basement i'm going to do these floors too because they really need to be swept Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write our story. Wanna shape the
to stop decorating. I'm going to go dirty up my clean kitchen now. I'm going to make breakfast burritos. And I found a recipe on Pinterest. I don't really know if I'm going to follow it. They used like, I was trying to think of healthier than just like bacon, eggs, and cheese. But they put like um, peppers and like Rotel tomatoes maybe in it. I love salsa on mine. That's how we eat them in Texas. They're breakfast tacos in Texas. Here they're breakfast burritos. First thing I'm going to do is heat up some tater tots so that these will be ready to put in the breakfast burritos whenever everything else is ready. sausage and the ham and then I added green pepper and some minced onions and now I'm going to add a can of the diced tomatoes with green chilies same thing as Rotel and I'm going to let that cook down because this has liquid in it so that will also help to soften the bell peppers this just gives it like so much flavor I love Rotel but I'm going to let all that liquid cook down Okay, so I have the scrambled eggs and I cut up a little cilantro to put on top of them and then I cut up the tater tots just to like make make them go further I guess I don't want big tater tots in mine and then this is the ham sausage rotel and um, green peppers cheese some turkey bacon I mainly made that for the kids but and they had pancakes but um, these are the tortillas that I got they're six net carbs and which is less than regular tortillas so I'm gonna use these for me I think I have six left so I'm probably gonna have one tonight and then I'll make the rest and freeze them and then I'm just using regular tortillas for Marion we're gonna have them for dinner and then freeze the rest but the recipe I'll link the recipe down below that I'm using it's really I'm not really using it just kind of giving me some ideas but she said you wrap them up and you put cooking spray on top which I'm just gonna like brush olive oil on top and then put them in the uh, oven for like 10 to 15 minutes to cook them like I smelt everything and then you wrap them in foil and then you freeze them so 
I don't know why you do that, but I'm gonna follow that recipe and do that. So I just preheated the oven. I had turned it off after I took the tater tots out and forgot, but that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So I made all mine, put them in the oven, and I forgot to put cilantro. So I'm going to, uh, when they come out, I'm just going to put that in each one of them. I did the same. I made some just taco size for Marion and put his name on it so he'll know this is his. And I put some in his tacos. But I'm going to put this in the freezer for him. And when mine are done, I'll eat and freeze the rest. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Here's my burrito fresh out of the oven. I put some cilantro in it, but they didn't really brown that much, but I think they're heated all the way through. So as soon as I eat this, I'm gonna put those in foil and then I am done in the kitchen today. And just FYI, these are really good. If you like salsa on your breakfast burritos, then, which I think most people do. We always put salsa on our breakfast tacos in Texas and um, the Rotel and the peppers and everything makes it taste like it has salsa in it already. So these are really good. Got the kitchen cleaned up, dishwasher's going. I gotta put those in the freezer still. But um, Madison, you know, she's a cosmetologist. She is learning, well, she did learn airbrushing makeup. So she's gonna do this. She needs to try, try it out on someone. She asked me if she could do it on me. So <laughs> I said, well, if I can vlog it, you can. Airbrushing is difficult, but I don't, I don't have any lip gloss on. I look like a ghost. All right, it's time to say goodnight. Um, my back is hurting. I have been on my feet all day long, and my back is hurting. I realize the older I get, like these days where I'm up and I have planned to do stuff all day, that it, I really do feel it at the end of the night, and it's frustrating, but my glasses need to be cleaned. Anyway, I'm going to sit down, catch up on some YouTube videos. It's been a while. Eat my Atkins bar. These are so good. $6 for five of them at Walmart. <laughs> but it's one gram of sugar. So that's not that much sugar. And they're sweet. They're not um, those other bars I showed you, the Love Good Fats. Those are more of a, like a nutritious 
healthy fat bar with a little bit of very little bit of sweetness that also has one gram of sugar my glasses are fogging up this has one gram of sugar but it tastes like an actual dessert bar so they're small but anyway that is my treat for tonight so anyway i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and decorating my kitchen making dinner you know all those things i appreciate you guys and i love you you know i love you praying for you always i'll leave you with the scripture and i'll see you guys in my next video bye